Okay. So welcome to the Common Metrics Working Group meeting for February 18th for the Chaos Project. Um, I do see some new faces here, so I'm I'm not one to like make people do introductions, but maybe um, let's let's maybe just do a quick round of introductions. And if you don't want to introduce yourself, you don't you don't have to. Um, I'll start. So I'm Don Foster. I'm director of open source community strategy at VMware. Um, I'm on the Chaos board. I've been doing this open source thing for a long time. I really like metrics. Um, Sean Goggins. I am one of the people who's been involved in chaos for a long time. I'm a professor of computer science at the University of Missouri. My name is Georg Link. I, my preferred pronouns are he, him, his. I live in Omaha, Nebraska. I work at Biturgia as the director of sales. And oh, most recently, I started helping Silona and the IEEE SA Open team with their community advisory group. Nice. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. I'm the community manager for Chaos. Um, my other job that I do is nature photographer, which I haven't been able to do for a while <laughs> because it's too cold. I'm not that dedicated, so I don't go out now, but on, when it gets warmer, I will. <laughs> there's some beautiful snow shots available, Elizabeth. I did, I did get a few, but literally from my back door because we have woods behind us. So it was like literally <laughs> open the door, take some pictures, shut the door. <laughs> so I'll never win any awards because I'm not that person that's, you know, 5 a.m. in Alaska getting the beautiful sunrise. That's not me. So huh. anyway, I'm the community manager. Happy to help anyone that's new to the group um, find their way around and navigate everything. So just you can email me at any time, Elizabeth at chaos.community. So don't hesitate. Okay, I'm Drew, Drew Sajdev. I'm from Mumbai, India. I'm studying computer engineering at Mumbai University. And I'm recently starting out with open source and I was a little blown by how Chaos was, was working. And, you know, I was, wanted to know everything. I mean, like if I could be a part of meeting. I think we lost a little bit of your audio there, but I think we caught uh, caught a chunk of it. So, so welcome. Um, hi everyone. I'm Steven from Nigeria. Uh, I'm a computer science undergrad. I studied as a also, and then I work part time as a machine learning engineer. And uh, yeah, recently I've been diving into open source, and this is my First meeting um, here at Chaos. Welcome. Thank you. Would anyone else like to introduce themselves? So, hi, Beth. I know you just joined. We're just doing a round of. Oh, she's just connecting. Hi, Beth. We're just doing a round of introductions, and it's up to you. Do you want to? Introduce yourself. Sure. Um, my name is Beth Hancock. I'm the product manager for IEEE's new initiative, uh, the SA Open platform. And I am coming around to learn more about metrics and how to apply them to open source. Welcome. Okay, I'm going to share my screen so that we can all just look at the agenda together. Um, struggling to find the right, uh, I must have this open in like several different browsers at the same time. Uh, oh, there we go. I did share the right one. Um, okay. So this is our agenda for today. Uh, we're going to start with, um, reviewing some of the action items from previous meetings. We'll look at some open issues and PRs. Um, we'll review some comments from the metrics review period, which I guess we'll do as part of probably the open issues review. Um, Georg wants to talk about archiving minutes because I see him typing there. We'll look at progress on current metrics and then we have some other metrics that we're work in progress on that um, we'll talk about as much of that as we 
as we can. So let's start with the action items from the previous meeting. So Daniel was going to work on the time waiting for submitter action, and I don't see Daniel on the call. So we'll we'll come back to that one. Um, space event location, Matt was going to template it out, which looks like what that link is. Um, space collaboration platforms, I think Kevin was going to take a look at that one so we can um, we can talk about that when we get to that metric unless uh did you get a chance to work on that one kevin Since you are a the... little bit so it, it exists and there is a description sort of <laughs> uh, perfect but uh not much more than that so. okay well we'll get to it um later in the later in the agenda um and i i will say for those of you that are new here um, we do, we spend some of the time in this meeting actually going through the metrics and providing comments on the docs and providing feedback. Um, if we don't get to all of them, you are certainly more than welcome to take a look at some of these metrics and if they're interesting to you, provide feedback on the Google Doc um, after the meeting as well. So this is, this is a, a good meeting to start with because we have lots of metrics that are work in progress that are looking for um, people to uh, help us out with. So well done on the timing there. So we have, let's see, we have one pull request. So it looks like there were some formatting issues on the burstiness metric. Um, so. Yes. You wanna- Looks like a no brainer. Yeah, I don't see any issues with that. Um, so let's just, I'll just go ahead and Go ahead and merge that one. Cool. That's pull requests done. Boom. Easy. We're already winning. <laughs> um, and so then we have, let's start with the metrics candidate release ones. Um, burstiness. Uh, so there are issues from uh, with formatting. So I'm just going to leave leave a comment for Ray. Um, fixed it. Have another look. Um, okay, so that's one of them. View cycle duration. Let's see if we've got any comments here. Nope. And then technical fork. Um, so it looks like I'd have to go back to the back to the metric. Um, it looks like there Ray Ray had a question that there might be a concern that this is that the, I assume the language viewed is to GitHub or GitLab centric. Um, and it may not trans, translate well to projects that aren't using one of those two services. Well, there are a few projects that aren't using one of those two services. There are. Um, I do. So I there's do a lot of Apache, that, I guess. Sorry. Um, yeah. Well, some of the Apache projects use GitHub. Uh, Postgres, for example, doesn't. It's just a Git repository. Is there? Uh, is there? Sorry to interrupt. No. Is there ahead. language in this metric that would? So Ray says that the that it's meant to track how uh, how many people fork clone the projects and contribute. Is there language in here that says anything about contributing? Because that was not. I don't think that was intentional. Mm -hmm. It should just be the, this one should be kind of agnostic to contributing. It should just be forking or cloning, right? Under filters, we have the ratio of contributing forks to total forks. As, as something that might be interesting to look at, right? Yeah, under filters. But it's not, it's not built into the metric itself, the metric description. Well, it's in the implementation section. 
And we do talk about the intention and the objectives and that there are different types of forks such as contributing or non-contributing forks. Um, yeah. We have struggled with the language on this one for the exact reason as Ray was pointing out that yeah. forks means two different things and we yep. settled on technical forks to try to mitigate that issue. And yes, we know that there's other types of forks, but we've talked about this at length and we haven't come up with anything better. I do actually like the suggestion in this issue, which is um, cloning. Um, yeah, I, I prefer clone yeah. as well. Yeah, I agree. Does, uh, does anybody want to volunteer to propose some changes um, in a pull request to the metric? I will still need to mention forks because that's, I think people, um, people need that context that they're, you know, one type of, but I think if we, if we use cloning, that might be, that might be better. My concern with cloning is at least with GitHub that cloning means you pull it down locally. Yes. Yes. Um, okay. So what I'm going to suggest is that Gayer, do you want to comment on this issue when you get a chance and talk about some of your, your concerns with the, okay. the word cloning? I think that would be, that would be helpful. Uh, anything else on that? Sorry, I just closed it. Um, Um, we have new metric for event locations. I think that was one of the ones on the, it's one of the ones on the agenda later. So we can talk about that. Standardizing the working group's repository structure. Uh, is that related to the agenda item that you added, Georg, about archiving minutes? Yes, we have, um, no, I guess I it's could open a, the issue and look at it and see if it's related. It's different. It's different. It's different. This is um, but this is being handled by a volunteer that stepped yeah. up to do this across all of the working groups. So I okay. don't think there's any action for us right now, um, except to maybe look at that document. So we're, we're familiar with how the the proposed structure is going to be. But um, so far, I think most of the working groups have been okay with the changes. They make sense. But okay. we can talk about that if we want. Cool. Um, I would just encourage you to go and have a look at that document and comment on the issue if you have any questions. Yeah. So we talked about the metrics release candidates. Um, and then these were all ones that we have um, kind of work in progress. So I don't, unless there's something that anybody wants to talk about here, I think we're, I think we're pretty good on the, the issues. Anything? Okay, um, archiving minutes. We now have a Gmail account for chaos. It's chaosproject at gmail.com. And we want to use the Google Drive there as the central place for all kinds of Google Docs. And we're starting with minutes. So Don, you are the owner of this document. If you want to make that chaos community the owner, that would be amazing. Um, but it doesn't seem to want to let me make it the owner. Okay. The <laughs> alternative we have, if that doesn't work, is to make a copy of this file and then oh, we just no, update. Wait, you know what? Wait a minute. I know. I know why. Um, I'm logged in on my other account, so oh, I just got need, it. I just need to log into this. Um, Maybe you want to stop sharing your screen while you do that. No, it's okay. Or, I'm gonna log. I'm, I'm already logged in. I'm just. Okay. I have different browser profiles depending on who I am, whether I'm yep. VMware or various other secret identities. I do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that yeah. is part one, uh, ownership of our minutes that we have them in a central chaos shared location. So it's not dependent on individual 
members who might go away in the future. The other part of the archiving minutes is keeping the minute documents short so that they load faster and taking previous years to um, and archiving them. And we've done this for the community call where we just create an archive Google Doc um, and then truncate this uh, the one that we are working in. Um, I just want to bring that up, ask if there are any concerns with doing that. Otherwise, um, I'm happy to just do it. Of course, at the bottom, we would link to where the minutes from the previous year are. Mm -hmm. And the workflow we've been discussing is to do this about once per year around the release so that as we finish one release, then we archive everything from the previous year and we already have two or three months in the current year that we can still scroll back to. Yeah, that makes perfect sense to me. I know it's something we've experienced a lot in the Kubernetes community because the minutes documents got so long that nobody could, it was hard to open them anymore and it created all kinds of problems. So yeah, makes sense. Anybody have any questions for Georg about the archiving of the minutes? Um, progress on the current metrics. We have a number of them that are work in progress. And of course we have a number that are um, released. So we have several under community review right now. Um, we have a couple in progress that I think are ones that are on the list of things to talk about. So we'll probably skip the ones unless Daniel has joined. I don't see um, any, any questions about any of the, the metrics that are in progress? And for those of you who are new to this call, um, if you see any of them that are, um, if you see any that are considering that are things you are particularly passionate about and interested in, we can, um, we can help you get, get started if you want to kind of kick off the development of any of these, any of these metrics. So this is certainly something that really any of us can start. We have metrics that are developed by you know, a wide variety of people with with feedback from from lots of others. So it's something that anybody anybody can do. And it's a nice kind of easy way to get into the chaos community. And to start a metric just to build on that is write a few sentences about what the metric is about, how you would use it. And it's it's fairly simple. And then we'll help with the rest. Yep, and we have kind of a standard standard template for them, so we can help you get it into the get it into the template. Um, anything? Any, sorry, anything else on the progress? Okay. Um, so we have a couple of metrics that are sort of work in progress. I'm waiting for submitter action. Is where do we have the? That's one that Daniel's working on. So since he's not here, we'll probably skip that one. Base event location. Um, that was Matt German Prey, right? Working on that one? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And he's committed to a number of campus things this week, unfortunately. Yeah, so. that's what he said. He said that there's just, just no way he could. Yeah. He's, he's got a lot of obligations um, yeah. at his rank. So. And what about the collaboration platforms? Was Kevin, was that the one you were working on? Yes, yeah, I, I, I created that one. Uh, so uh, there's not a whole lot there other than the description and uh, there's a link to a uh, Baturgia visualization to add. Uh, we could work on this one here right now if we wanted actually. Um, yeah, since the other the other ones are 
the, the people who've been working on it aren't here. It's probably, this is probably the, the logical, logical one. Maybe Kevin, do you want to give us just kind of a brief overview about what your what your thinking around this metric was, and do you want to kind of drive the gathering feedback kind of discussion? Uh, so this this metric, if I remember correctly, came from a uh, came from one of the university collaborations. I don't know if it was a a class project, uh, but uh, interestingly, I think uh, I don't think the uh, I think this entire focus area of space came from that uh, came from that project. I don't think we had thought of it prior. Uh, so for this one, uh, we're talking about collaboration platforms, and the, the question for this is where does where does project activity occur? Uh, and we are talking about uh, uh, digital platforms here. So the description is. Uh, well, I'll just read the description. So open source projects use many different communication and collaboration platforms. These platforms may include email, social media, chat applications, and code management technologies such as GitHub or GitLab. Right, so measuring, measuring where and how much activity is occurring on these collaboration platforms may inform project transparency and openness. Right, so some of, these, some of these platforms are closed. Some of them are open. Right, so a right uh, if a if a project has communication on uh, in a code management platform like GitHub, that's going to be fairly transparent. Or if it's an email list that's open to everyone, that's fairly transparent. However, there are also maybe uh, email lists that are closed. There could be chat applications that are closed. Uh, so when we're talking about where the where the project activity occurs, I think it's important to keep in mind some of the uh, 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 some of those thoughts while we're talking about it. Right? Is the so the descriptions of what that communication technology is? Right? Is this uh, is this an open technology? Is it closed? How much activity is occurring in the open? How much of it is occurring possibly closed? Does that make sense? And then the so uh, Daniel actually shared a uh, a Kibana dashboard with us, and there's visualization there that we can pull out. This is one of the ways that Baturgia has actually explored uh, collaboration platform activity. Top, the top right visualization is the one that we're. So you can see the, the collaboration platform, and you can also see how much activity is occurring on that collaboration platform. I just want to put in a point of reference, and that is that we have a not, it's not a, a, an exactly the same metric, but it is related on chat platform inclusivity. Um, some of the, the filters and things um, kind of relate to, I think, what you're talking about here, Kevin. So I'm just not sure how, how the two fit together. I'll drop it here. Um, we did it in the, the diversity and inclusion working group. But um, just for reference, there's that other metric. Yeah, I mean, so to be, to be clear for, the, for this one, we are, I think we're really talking about counting the platforms and looking at the activity on the platforms and that has implications for openness and transparency uh, but the the openness and transparency is not something we necessarily need to uh, uh, define and also I think that other metric is is specifically for chat applications only um, and more of the the synchronous kind of uh, conversations that happen. So it, you know, again, it's, it's certainly not, uh, this is much more um, comprehensive and, and a broader scope. And I think it's absolutely valid. Um, I don't know if we want to reference the other metric somewhere that it's kind of, you know, kind of touches on some of the same things or not. It's up, it's up to y'all. I think we would probably, uh, 
I think the, the chat platform inclusivity uh, metric would probably need to mention. I think it's, uh, it's connected to the collaboration platforms metric, so it probably needs to mention the collaboration platforms metric. Uh, and then in, uh, in collaboration platforms, we could probably use the chat platform inclusivity metric as an example of uh, how inclusivity uh, could be an example of the implications for uh, uh, inclusivity and uh, transparency in uh, uh, collaboration platforms. I think they're they're very much connected, but but also different. So. Oh, let me. I added it in the references just uh, for right now. We can decide whether or not it makes sense to leave it there. But once again, I would say the. I think at the at the base, what this what this metric is is a count of the number of collaboration platforms that exist, and and how much activity is occurring on those platforms. And, and I think it has, it has implications for these other things, but I think the focus should be on the, uh, uh, those first two things I said. Yeah, agreed. Um, do we wanna tweak the description? Make that more, more clear or do we feel like that's clear enough already? Or does the transparency and openness bit really fit more into objectives? I think uh, transparency and openness is an objective. I agree. I'm gonna I'm just gonna move this down for right now, which makes that sentence not work. Um, <laughs> so many people typing. Um, this is great. English is hard. Measure. Uh, does that make more sense? This is hard. Kevin, what do you think of that description? Uh, yep, I like it. I'm just gonna I'm gonna tweak that last sentence a little bit. Do it. Should we also change the first sentence then? Because it looks like we're focusing on where, but we're also focusing on how much the, for, the under collaboration. Yeah, right there. Um, oh yeah, because oh. That's, that should be, let me just fix that. That should be the, the question we're answering. Um, and I kind of think, I, I think the where does project activity, I think that kind of implicitly adds the how much as well. But we could be, we could certainly be more explicit. But. I, feel like, I feel like we should add something about volume in there. Go ahead, Elizabeth, I think I interrupted you. No, no, that's, yeah, you're fine. That's what I was gonna say too. I don't, I don't know how to say it well. I, I understand what you're saying, Kevin, though, that it does like kind of holistically imply, but I think we might, it might be clearer if we, if we mention volume, I don't know.
I think that's the one there. What is the volume of activity across collaboration platforms? I win. Just kidding. It's not a contest. It's not a contest, Don. It is a contest and you win. You have to be competitive <laughs> in this game, Don. Don't be ashamed of your desire to win. Go, you, go. Go, you, go. <laughs> one of my daughters last night playing Cards Against Humanity was like, well, I play to win. <laughs> Just like flat out. I play to win. I'm like, wow. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, so we've got we've got a question. We have a description. Uh, we have two objectives. Uh, do we feel like there are more objectives? I did something about helping people to find places to contribute. I think that needs to be reworded, but. Um. That's good, I like that. Are there other, other objectives? If we are looking at the volume of um, activities, then we can start to look at causes for upticks or downturns in volume. So use this metric as an indicator for investigating what's actually going on. Can we, is, is project velocity a metric? Can we connect it to that metric? I think we have project velocity in our released metrics. This is this metric could inform it could inform project velocity. Uh, it could inform well, it could inform burstiness, I suppose. I, I wrote a little thing there. I think it can inform anything. I think one of the challenges for any kind of technologically mediated work is if you miss significant channels. So by attending to this, we are making every, really making every metric in chaos better. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Did we capture what you were saying earlier, Georg? I think uh, Kevin fit it well in with burstiness, because that is what burstiness okay. is about. So we have um, the collaboration platforms that's about collecting the data, and then burstiness is for analyzing the data. So we're starting to come up with a different types of metrics here and how they play together. Um, because if we could say, hey, if we see upticks or downturns, whatever, yeah, that's all described in burstiness. Maybe we need one objective for each uh, metric and then say, if you want to know more about how to do this or each achieve this objective, then look here. I don't know. We've been struggling with- You might, you might also consider just the general that this advances our full view of things we need to understand for a lot of chaos metrics instead of trying to specify all of the chaos metrics that it advances knowledge for or for provide the ones that we've already provided as examples so that it can ground people's understanding. Just a thought. Remind me, do we try to wrap these meetings up at a, a quarter till or 10 till? 
ten fifty. Yeah, ten till is typical, but you're the you are the coordinator this week, Don. So you can decide to wrap it up whenever you want. I can do whatever I want. You have the competitive advantage of being in the power role. <laughs> I win, and I'm in the power role. This has been yeah. a great meeting. I think I should just be done for the day. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else is gonna be a letdown. To tell your boss I've authorized your power roll for the whole day. She, I'm yeah. sure that will matter. <laughs> yeah, especially since my next meeting is indeed with my boss. So I, I probably have to that one. <laughs> yeah, probably so. Uh, okay, these are these are great suggestions. I'm just going to accept, 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 because this all looks good. Um, well, I'll leave that one because it has some comments on it. Looks like we're still still working on that one. Um, the next section we have, we have the implementation section. Uh, so, sorry, were there other objectives that we should be talking about or we feel like we're off to a good start here? Okay. Um, we made a lot of progress on this metric uh, in a short amount of time. This is great. Um, implementation. Um, got the visualization, which we can turn into a screenshot. Tools providing the metric. Um, so the I mean, metric it's itself is, it's really an enumeration. The, the implementation is an enumeration of the collaboration platforms that we're getting information from, right? It, it's more specific than the metric itself that way or is it can you say sure. that again Go so ahead. like like with the objectives we're trying to describe of course our goals but the implementation really comes down to what collaboration platforms is a tool going to be able to get you information from and Correct. so and so enumerating tools like I know Batergia gathers a lot more uh, mailing list and like conversational data, for example, than Augur does right now. And so they're getting more of that data at the, at the present time and and enumerating the, the data from the platforms that a tool gets maybe agnostically. We could just say here are the platforms we're thinking about and then under tools we could enumerate like what Baturgia gets and what Augur gets. Yeah, uh, do, you, do you follow me? Uh, John looked puzzled, which. No, uh, so so what I'm what I'm thinking is that this this sort of feels like a collection of smaller metrics. And so I'm wondering if I'm wondering if this is the right Maybe maybe it's fine if this is the right scope for um, for a metric like this because you know you could there are multiple ways of thinking about this right so we've we've kind of put them together as sort of an umbrella collaboration platforms and looking at the and and being able to compare them across but what we're actually talking about is probably their individual metrics which is like the number of um, posts in chat the number of mailing list posts the number so the of perhaps the abstraction could go to the message level and message characteristics for implementation and then i'm not monitor. necessarily suggesting that we change anything i'm just i'm just pointing out that there are multiple ways of thinking about this and we should be yeah able, we so I, talk about it in so my if mind, we in my mind, like the message is the abstraction, and then each of the platforms is a, a specific implementation of these of gathering information about these messages. Mm -hmm. And I think the, and I think keeping it at a higher level is more useful. And if we use the abstraction of messages, then it's not totally specific. It can be more general. Somewhere we should enumerate platforms that we know that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, or maybe this is a case since these platforms are always evolving and emerging that we we provide a separate list that can be maintained without updating the metric of the platforms. 
so the metric can remain stable and abstracted about just messages. And there's some other like list that's attached to the metric where we can continuously update what those platforms are. So when people start communicating about open source on TikTok, we can add that. Hey, Sean, does this relate to the, um, the, the discrete metrics we had talked about for the social listening metric system? I believe that there's, it, it seems like there's some overlap here. There's part of, part of those, part of the data that would be gathered for social listening is in here, but I think this is, I, this is a really, an, whether or not there's 10 systems or 50 or two, the abstraction of just going out and getting messages is much more digestible than the social listening metric. The social listening metric was much more expansive than this. Right, but part of that, when we were breaking it down into yes. individual metrics, was 100%, just like, okay. 100%, but I don't think that this is developed as clearly anywhere else. So, like, like there might be a partially thought about metric related to social listening and value that we simply abandon and point to this one because this is I, well yeah. developed. That's what I was just going to say. Like, this is way, it seems way more like um, understandable, I guess, and just kind of a, a little bit better of a start than some of those other ones that we had talked about breaking out someday. So, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And I think too, like pulling pulling them all together, I think gives us something more like this um, Grimoire Lab visualization where we've got, um, you've got the comparison. So it's not, you're not just counting the GitHub issues. You're not just counting the mailing list posts. You're not just counting, you're, you're counting them and comparing them across, which I think is the benefit of this. But what we might want to think about doing is whether or not we should be whether or not we should also be defining some of those other things as kind of sub-metrics that we could then, I don't know, maybe they're filters. Well, we can think about this. We're not gonna, we're not gonna finish this metric today. And we are actually um, coming up on the end of our time here. Um, so I would uh, I would encourage people to keep working in this document. So keep uh, keep working on it. I think um, Kevin, I think this would be a good thing to put on the agenda for uh, for the next meeting. Which I'm just going to make sure that I'm going to be here and see if I need a. No, I should be here next meeting. Um, anything anything else anyone wants to say before we I'm going to move this and go back to the back to the agenda. Um, anything else before we before we wrap it up? It was a great session. Thank yeah, you. it really was. Yeah, I feel like we got a lot done. Um, cool. So I will bump. Um, I'll leave this one on the agenda again for next week. I'll bump the ones that uh, Matt and Daniel are working on. Um, so we'll have a pretty similar agenda agenda for for next week. Uh, next next week or two? It's two weeks, right? Two weeks. Sorry, two weeks away. No, okay. <laughs> yep. You know how I love meetings, but. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Don. Thank you, everybody. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank Bye. you. Bye, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye-bye.